In the last video, we successfully created our MobXHtree instance and we injected it into our com provider component at the root of our application. However, at this point, there isn't really much to our actual React application. It's literally just this p tag with hi. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to create an employer component and then we'll work on injecting MobXHtree into that component. Um, so it should be a really good exercise. So the first thing we're going to do is over here on the left, under our SRC folder, we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call that components. And within components, we're going to create a new file. And we'll call it employer.tsx. And what we'll do is we'll create a standard class component. So we'll do class employer component extends react dot, uh, component and I'll just do basically a render just base basic render function and um, I'll just return I guess a blank div for now uh, I'll do a few imports import star as react from react And uh, two TypeScript things here. If you're not using TypeScript, don't worry. You can ignore this. But I'll just do interface, employer, component, props. And that's going to be empty. Then I'll do interface, employer, component, state. That's going to be empty for now, but I will populate that later. And I'm just going to insert that into my product or into my component, employer component props, employer component state. All right, I'll go ahead and create a constructor so we'll need it later. So the equal to props and I'll do super props. Um, and then I'll use a state I'll just leave that blank for now. Um, I'll give the props the type of the employer component props, which is standard. All right, I'll go ahead and save that. And Prettier will essentially reformat this a bit. And one other thing I'm going to do is I'll just export employer component. I'll just do a singleton though. And I'll save that. And then I'm actually going to change this render method. I'm going to specify uh, just a little high p tag just to verify that it's working correctly. And then back in my app component, I'll essentially erase this high tag and I'll input my employer component here. And sorry, employer components. All right, so if I go back into here, I'll just refresh, and it looks like it is still rendering high. So now I know my employer component is working. So now uh, what I want to do is I'm going to inject MobX State Tree into this component. And if you remember back from our presentation, if we scroll up, uh, or sorry, if we go to this slide, we can see that the way that we integrate MST into React is using the TypeScript decorators. So we'll inject our root tree into our component. We're also going to use the observer tag in order to observe changes that occur to our root tree. So let's go back to our code editor go back into the employer component. At the top of the employer component, specify the inject decorator and import that from MobX React. And as a parameter, pass in the root tree name. Uh, you need to make sure that this is the correct name that you're passing in to this provider here. Um, in addition, you're also going to use the observer 
decorator that we discussed earlier. This essentially allows the class to listen to the tree for updates. And um, also, if you're using TypeScript, you do need to specify the root tree um, in your property interface as well. So in here, I'll specify root tree and then set that equal to a type of root. And this root, essentially, what this is, is it's coming from our um, uh, the file that we use to create our tree. And it's, um, it's this type that we exported at the very bottom. This gives us access to the typings of the tree. All right, so go ahead and save that. And now come down here to the render function. And we'll get to, we'll get to see the power of this injection here. So um, kind of a, a TypeScript bug. Up here in the root tree, if you're using TypeScript, make sure you um, put a question mark before the colon, which allows this to be optional. And it's a sort of a TypeScript bug. And then um, in here, just do a first destructure root tree from the stuff props. And then do an if root tree is falsy, return null. And now over here we can do um, we can do root tree dot and hit control space. And now now we can see this this is our tree. We can go into employer and you can hit dot space again. And you can access the different components of our tree, which is really handy. Um, so what I'm going to do is just to uh, make sure our tree is working appropriately, I'll do some destructuring, or actually no I won't. All I'll do is I'll come down here to this p tag, and I'll I'll do um, I'll specify root tree dot employer, and I'll do dot name. and also do one for location. And I'll save that. And my application should be re being recreated here. And it has. All right, so this is our, um, now we know for sure that our MobX8 tree is properly working and because our component in our store is now being rendered to the screen, which is good. I'm gonna go back into my component and do a little bit of cleanup before we wrap up. So I'm going to change this from a P tag, and I'm going to specify an H1 tag um, for the name, and I'll do a, an H3 tag for the location. All right, and um, I'll add a uh, horizontal rule afterwards, just for a line underneath. And I think that's going to be it for this video. Just to kind of wrap up, we what we did is we essentially injected the root tree into this component and they were able to access the properties of our MobX8 tree via props. Um, and then after that we did render um, properties from our, or I guess leaves from our MobX8 tree in our component, which is really nice. In the next video, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at the actions piece of MobX8 tree and we'll create action to create a new employee for this application. I'll see you in the next video.